So I have done dynamic assessments outside of the context of um, school-based assessment. And when I do that, I can actually use it as a tool for a response to intervention. So what I can do is gather samples like a reading, writing, and math sample of the individual. And then I can look at what mediated learning strategies, what support, uh, what supports are needed, but also the skills that the student is doing. And then kind of gather a baseline, create some goals around that, and then work with the student specifically on enhancing those goals or enhancing those specific skills that we've been targeting or that we noticed were some weaknesses in the initial gathering of information, then I can probe again later and see how did they respond to the targeted intervention that was given. So it really is um, a way to be able to be to gather again information about the skills, but I can also examine like where did support change? Um, most dynamic assessment like checklists or tools will have a little caveat on them that says change, meaning even within one interaction, are we seeing the student change with more exposures and more practice, right? Because we want to account for the student being a dynamic learner, that they have ability to change even within a small session, rather than just thinking that um, at learning is static. And so I use it as a tool often, especially with students, a lot of the students that I work one on one with in this like more dynamic way are students that have had a lot of difficulty accessing like or people have dif have had difficulty accessing how do they learn best. So I have to try a lot of different things and kind of see what is helpful and then work within that and see how that evolves. Um, so it is just a much more flexible way of looking at a learner, but it does take skill because you have to be able to observe those nuances and changes. Um, but it can definitely indicate response to intervention. And you can shift those strategies that you're using as the mediator and, and kind of take note on like how the student is not needing as much support, moving from explicit help, or sorry, yeah, explicit help to implicit help, right? More, um, you know, hints versus like really being direct with scaffolding.